Netflix is about to release a game inspired by the Money Heist series. So it's time to discover what the actors from this mega-hit are currently doing. How does Ursula Corbero impress her fans? Who's about to become a daddy? And why was Pedro Alonso glad about his character's death? Get ready to find out. Ursula Corbero as Tokyo. This actress is undoubtedly enjoying an amazing career. Following her tremendous success in Money Heist, she swiftly received an invitation to Hollywood to take on a role in the superhero film Snake Eyes. Additionally, Corbero played a role in the heist movie Lift. She also won the Andes Award for her portrayal of Rosa Peral in Netflix's Burning Body. Ursula is an immensely popular actress of her generation, with a whopping 22 million people following her life on Instagram. Did you know that Madonna is a fan of her? This is what the pop queen herself told the actress during their encounter on the plane. She made this eye contact with me. <laughs> she started putting on her shoes like this in my seat. Then she was like, hey, hi. And, and I was like, <laughs> Why should you be surprised, Ursula? Just like Madonna, she is also recognized as a fashion icon. The actress often astonishes her subscribers with provocative images. The actress is also a strong supporter of feminism. This summer, she became the first global ambassador for the international non-governmental organization Save the Children. Soy Ursula Corbero, y me caso contra el matrimonio infantil. Ursula doesn't have her own kids now, but she's been happily dating Argentine actor Chino Darren since 2016. And what about her on-screen boyfriend, Miguel Heron as Rio? The actor's life is also quite lively. In terms of his career, right after the show, he took on the lead role in the thriller Prison 77. Just recently, a new series titled Los Farad was released, where he plays one of the main characters. But Heron's proudest moment isn't related to movies at all. In fact, Miguel joyfully announced that he's going to be a dad for the first time. Well, little more I can say. The pictures speak for themselves. This is my family, and it's what I love most in this world. We are going to be parents. The actor's girlfriend, Celia Pedraza, is expecting their child. Talks about them being a couple started when they were seen together at the Grand Prix of Portugal racing. The actor really loves motorcycles, extreme riding, and speed. You can see lots of pictures on Instagram that capture his passion, but it seems he'll need to be more cautious now. Having grown up without a father figure, Miguel now finds it crucial to be a positive example for his soon-to-be child. I've been a fatherless kid and I've always thought so. It seems to me the perfect nucleus to start something. Perhaps the show's ringleader served as an example for Haran in this. Alvaro Morte is professor. The mastermind behind Money Heist has two major interests, collecting high-end watches. Antes un poquito retro, me gusta más todavía, pero me gusta mirar la hora en el reloj. And extreme motorcycle driving. Although it's been quite some time since Alvaro last rode on two wheels. I would love to, but I don't want to. I enjoy it very much, but I'm a father, and when you're a father, you look at the world in a different way. And rightly so, because he gets adrenaline from his favorite job. Just like the rest of the cast, this Spanish actor gained global fame thanks to his role as the professor. While filming the last season, Mort was already playing Oscar in another project, El Embarcadero. He also worked with Prime Video in the fantasy Wheel of Time and miniseries Sin Limites. Next year, you can catch Morte in the horror movie Immaculate alongside Sidney Sweeney. And did you know that Alvaro is not only a successful actor, but also a savvy businessman? He runs his own theater company called 300 Pistolas in Madrid. Additionally, he has ventured into producing, recently signing with Sony. By the way, Alvaro does business with his wife, Blanca Clemente, who used to work as a stylist for some Spanish stars. They have two lovely twins named Leon and Julieta. However, you'll rarely see the family on the actor's social networks, as he prefers not to share personal details, much like his on-screen partner. Itziari Tuno as Lisbon. Millions watched her captivating love story with the professor with bated breath. In reality, this actress is a secret agent when it comes to her personal life. It's unknown whether she is dating someone or has children, and any rumors about her marriage to Juan Fernandez remain unconfirmed. At the same time, she enjoys showing her subscribers her gardening and engaging in extreme activities. Actually, Itziar doesn't have much time to these. Besides her regular filming, she is singing in three musical groups, Dangaliske, Easy Three, and Ingot. And the biggest news for her fans, Ituno joined the Money Heist prequel spinoff. Oh, her worst enemy will be right there with her.
Najwa Nimri as Alicia Sierra. Yeah, 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 we know many fans weren't fond of this character, but let's be honest, the actress portrayed a brutal police inspector exceptionally well. That's why she's now regarded as one of the most promising actresses in Spain. In real life, she is the complete opposite of Alicia. Furthermore, Najwa is a gorgeous blonde who loves dressing stylishly and wowing with hot photo shoots. She once admitted that she always has panties in her bag. Entonces me compro muchas nuevas. Suena fuerte, pero es cierto. La recomiendo. Y siempre llevo un par porque hay que cambiarse de bragas básicamente. Probably the only thing they have in common with Sierra is that the actress also experienced pregnancy, although this was almost 20 years ago. Her son, Teo Nabil, was born in 2004. Nimri has been married to Spanish director Daniel Calparsoro. They crossed paths on the film Salto El Vatio, and it was Nimri's first major role. Today, the actress prefers not to discuss her family. The other thing is work. She's still part of the music group Najwa Jin, and naturally, continues filming. Nimri is introduced as a new character, Haruka, in the Spanish mystery horror series, 30 Coins. We'll soon catch her in Berlin on Netflix. Additionally, she is back with a lead role in the second season of the Holy Family series. By the way, one of the roles in the project also went to a star from Money Heist. Alba Flores as Nairobi. Unlike Alicia, her character was one of the audience's favorites. That's why many people were reluctant to believe in her death. Fortunately, the actress didn't fade away from the spotlight after that. She starred in the historical drama Love and Revolution, which premiered this summer. In addition to her television work, she also takes part in theater plays. Moreover, Flores is an active feminist and vegetarian who supports people for the ethical treatment of animals. Alba is openly lesbian, and her most recent relationship was with Spanish actress and singer Andina Maldonado. According to sources, she is currently not dating anyone. And here is some news from her co-star that surprised his fans. Jaime Lorente as Denver. This actor seems to be quite secretive too. He rarely appears in public with his girlfriend, Martha Jinica. When it came to the birth of his first daughter, Amaya, he announced it on Instagram with just a photo of them sleeping side by side. The same happened the second time around. This spring, Jaime posted a photo of him and his beloved walking with their daughter and a stroller. Later, he shared a glimpse of how little Amaya welcomed her baby brother, Luca. The series Money Heist was a turning point for the actor. It not only made him globally popular, but also led to love. Yes, indeed, Martha Canaga worked as a costume designer there. Gossip has it that he even left his ex-girlfriend Maria Pedraza for her. He's thriving in his personal life, and on the professional front, well, things are going really well too. Lawrence starred in the drama series Cristo A. Rey, which was released this year. In addition to acting, he keeps his creative spirit alive by writing poetry and making music. Jamie released his first EP called La Noche last year. On top of that, this spring, he launched his own clothing collection. How does this actor manage to juggle it all? Now for the cherry on top, let's delve into the actor who's currently making the most noise, Pedro Alonso as Berlin. Yes, he's the first one from the gang who got his own self-titled spin-off series. <laughs> it will delve into the story of the thief Andres Lefonoyos, who viewers have both loved and hated. Well, Alonso himself had similar feelings about his character. His intentions are bad, his morals questionable, and he is always leaning to the dark side. So he was even glad that Berlin was dead. This way, he no longer had to portray the villain. But Pedro did agree to return to the role. Wonder if we'll get to see Berlin's iconic dances this time. They were truly great. Alonso even took professional lessons at Teatro de la Danza to enhance his moves. What a dedicated approach to his work. This year, Pedro also had a major role in the movie, Awareness. In fact, he fulfilled his long-standing dream of starring in a science fiction epic. In addition, this famous Spanish man remains a writer and has a passion for painting. If you look, artworks take up most of his Instagram profile. However, there's no mention of his love life. When asked about his partner, Pedro simply says, her name is Tatiana and that's enough. It's likely referring to Parisian Tatiana Georgievic, who practices hypnotherapy and is interested in art as well. The actor also has an adult daughter, but he keeps her private. Excited to uncover the secrets about his character in the upcoming series, are you planning to watch the Berlin spin-off? And which money heist character do you think should have their own story? Let us know in the comments.